Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be trying out my new Polychromos pencils which I recently bought from Hobbycraft. I recently did a haul video and if you missed that I'll leave a card up above so you can go and check that out. I thought I would try to do some realism with them because I want to work on my detail so I'm working on a commission here in this video and I'm using some pastel paper which I bought also from Hobbycraft. I can't remember what the brand is because I'm not at home right now at the time of recording this voiceover but you can check out what brand it is in the haul video if you are really interested to find out what it is. So I started off by layering a grounding of the colour pencil and I firstly noticed that these pencils are amazing. They are so pigmented, they don't blend quite as easily as Prisma colours but that is probably because they are more oil based than they are wax based but they do lay down really nicely they hardly break and the leads are really nice and thick and they are just a dream to use um yeah and i also used my uh, derwent blender pencil i also got from hobbycraft from the hall um to blend the first layer so i could work back on top and this blender is amazing and i don't quite believe that I have never used one of these before. I think you can use an alcohol colourless blender, an alcohol marker colourless blender to do this as well. You don't need a special Derwent blender pen or pencil blender pen. If you want to just try it with your alcohol based marker you can do that as well. But yeah it was great because it meant that I could work back on top with the polychromos and add the extra detail layers rather than keep trying to build up because you, you can only build so many layers up of colour pencil. So in this picture I am working on a picture of four cats in total but I'm only filming the two cats, well no I filmed all of it but I'm only putting the two of them in this video because, because I think after doing the first two cats I personally think I ruined the piece although this piece is a commission so I didn't want to just like talk about how I ruined the piece for such a long time I wanted to concentrate on the positives of it and concentrate on the review of the pencils rather than the fact that I ruined it but I will leave a picture of the finished product on screen now and you can tell me what you think and I probably will use the footage for it in another video because I want to talk about how we can sometimes maybe ruin our artwork and go a little bit too far and what happens when artwork doesn't go our way but back to talking about the colour pencils for a little bit, I was really really impressed with these and I do honestly think they are worth the money. They are a little bit pricey, uh, a pack of 24 cost me around £40 and I got these from Hobbycraft which can be a little bit on the expensive side but I did have a gift card so that is why I bought them from there. But I think you can get them from Amazon a little bit cheaper but I will probably be investing in some more colours of these because they are really 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 good and I do want to carry on working with these and to really improve the detail of my realism and I think one of the main problems of this piece is why um, one of the main problems I had with this whole piece and why I think I'm feel like I ruined some of it is because I didn't work big enough because the commission was for four cats on one piece of paper and I used uh, I can't remember what the size is because like I said I'm not at home so I can't check but it's around about a4 a little bit bigger than a4 and I think what I will prefer to do next time and the next time I do a realism piece with these pencils I would just concentrate on one subject so maybe for example in the case of this picture I would have done the ginger cat and I would have done him to the size of the paper or they're about the size of the paper so I could really work on getting the details in and I think these pencils will be really good for that. The, the colours really complement each other well and they are easy to blend. Not quite as easy as the Prisma colours but they are easy to blend together especially if you have a 
blender pen or solvent or you use a colorless blender they're really easy to blend together and they are just a dream to use and i also really like using the pastel paper i've never used pastel paper before and i can really see why people use it for color pencil drawings because the tooth of the paper really does grip the pencils really nicely and you can layer up quite a bit more on here and yeah it's just i'm just in awe of these pencils and i want to get every single one i think there are 120 colors altogether so that is my dream to own all 120 of them one day one day it will happen maybe not one day in the, in the near future but one day in the distant future maybe that will happen so i'm just working on the body of the cat now and i am using the blender pen again and you can see that how much of a difference the blender pen makes it is like it's watercolor pencil really almost and that is what i like to do with watercolor pencil on my animal artist collective video for the for the golden pheasant i use watercolor pencils to do a grounding underneath and then work on top with prismacolor pencils and i think this is a really good technique especially with realism because you can get the base colors down you can block out the colors and then add the details on top so that is what i did i started with the mid tones not quite the darker tones the mid tones the mid browns and then went over with the lighter colors and then used the blend pen and then went back in with the mid tones the dark tones to get that contrast in and also to get the shadows in and the darker bits of the fur and then I also used the white polychromos pencil on top of the fur just to add the highlights and to blend it a little bit more and that is the one drawback from these pencils is I don't think the white pencil is pigmented enough it is not as good as the poly but the polychromos it is not as good as the prismacolor pencil the prismacolor pencil in my opinion is far superior to the polychromos white pencil it's good for subtler blending and subtler highlights but it's not quite as good so i am going to be probably looking out for a white pencil that is better than this one that is my only criticism of the polychromos is the white pencil that's the only thing i have bad to say about it i would probably look into getting the caran d'ache luminance pencil because you can get that open stock i can't find the prismacolor open stock so i'm probably going to try and look for a caran d'ache uh, luminous white next so here I am just adding in the deeper shadows and building up the layers and I'm really pleased with how this cat in particular turned out. I'm very excited to continue using these pencils and to really develop my realism further and I think these will really help me with the detail. So a little bit skipped in time now, I'm adding the white pencil um, to create the highlights in the fur and it does create some nice subtle highlights and I was really pleased with that but for the whiskers I did have to use a tiny bit of white acrylic or white gel pen just to get the white whisker on top on top of the polychromos because the white polychromos just wasn't working out for me. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie. I make art videos. I do challenges, speed paints, discussions, all that kind of thing. Product reviews. I do have a couple of other product reviews on this channel. I've reviewed workers from the Marks. I have reviewed markers from the Works, the CYMK markers, and I've also tried the Mars Lumograph pencils. So I will leave a link to a playlist of product reviews if you want to check that out. I've also tried some Wish products and some fake Sharpies. So I'll leave a link to those if you are interested. But if you're new please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos because um youtube doesn't always put videos in subscription boxes i don't know why it does this the algorithm is a mythical creature and i don't think i will ever understand it and also if you like this video you know emotionally please do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out and also let me know in the comments below whether you've ever tried these pencils before uh, and what your thoughts are and if you recommend any other brand of color pencils what are your experiences with other brands of color pencils and what are your favorite color pencils because i'd quite like to know i'd quite like to try out as many art supplies as i can really because i am an art supply addict so i'm just doing the other cat now behind the ginger cat and i did like how this one turned out as well i was really pleased with the eyes of this one and the vibrancy and he looks quite sneaky uh, behind the ginger cat and I think these two really complement each other quite well and the composition works it was just after I added the other two cats I just wasn't happy with it at all but that is just my personal feelings the person I was doing the commission for liked it though so that really is all that matters and I don't want to like trash my work because it's not really good advertising hey look at this com commission I did it's awful no that's really not a good thing to say so I do 
I know that I can be very self-critical and I think as artists we all can be very self-critical and we often don't like our work but the person we're doing the work for really likes it so at the end of the day that is all that matters and I'm not going to be too self-critical but I do think the overall piece looked better with just these two cats on it and I was really really pleased at how it was going and then I just don't think the other two were quite as good that's just my opinion and I'm going to stop talking about it now because I like I said I don't want to trash it too much So I also want to apologise for the quality of audio in this video, it's not quite as good as normal, although my audio quality isn't amazing I don't think anyway, but it's even worse this week because I'm away when I'm recording this and I forgot to bring my pop filter with me and by pop filter I mean an old pair of tights on a coat hanger because that's just how I roll on my channel, I'm making use of what I have. So yeah, I didn't have that with me. Um, I still wanted to record the voiceover. I don't think it's too bad. I hope it's not too bad, but I do want to apologise for it and we should be getting some better audio next week. Um, I don't really have a lot more to say about this artwork or these pencils other than these pencils are really good and I do recommend them. They're probably not good if you're a beginner and they do behave differently to Prismacolors. So if you are used to Prismacolors, they are very different, but they are just as good if not better in their own way because they are very good for detail they are a lot sturdier than Prismacolors you will know the frustration of a Prismacolor where you sharpen it and you put it on the paper even just touch the paper slightly and it breaks are you all with me on that I think I think you are I think you all know where I'm coming from on that but yeah these pencils are really sturdy they are super quality they are beautiful to use they are just amazing and i am in love with them so i would recommend them if you are wanting to get into realism but i wouldn't necessarily recommend them as a beginner i am hoping to do a, another video with uh, this pastel paper as well i'm hoping to do a video where i use some crayola pencils on this pastel paper to see how that works and to see what a difference the pastel paper makes so look out for that but that is all for today's video well there's a little bit of the speed draw left so I'll leave you with a small bit of speed draw but that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday bye for now